hello everyone now this is a continuation of uh, the video in which we are talking about these unsolved java questions already question number one and question number two we have completed so over here we are going to talk about this question number three for right now so question number three states what write a program to input three numbers and check whether they are equal or not now see step by step you proceed three inputs you need to receive and then afterwards you have to check whether they are equal or whether they are not equal if they are unequal then display the greatest number otherwise display the message all the numbers are equal so again you see over here we are going to use a nested if condition right because see one condition we are having and inside that condition we are having more condition fine so let us define our question number three let us, let us define a new class. Let us name it as of our question number 3. And so, we are going to go for our import java.util package. Now, public class. Again and again, I am telling you the same name of the class you have to take that you have defined previously. So, question number 3, you need to take it over here as well. Now, after that, see public static void mean we need to define it over here. So public static void mean string arguments we are having. Then afterwards, we need to define a scanner object. So that is why we are taking scanner. I hope you understood that why we are um, doing this portion. It is a very basic one. Scanner system dot n now what we need to do in this question is we need to take three numbers as of our input right so firstly we are going to go for our let um, system dot out dot print ln this portion system dot out dot print ln and now we are asking for enter three numbers fine now three numbers we are asking for now we have to receive three numbers let us suppose int n1 we are taking as number one so sc dot next int then we are taking int n2 sc dot next int then we are going to go for int n3 equal to sc dot next int three numbers we have received now it is asking to check whether the three numbers are equal or whether they are not equal enough so then we are firstly checking our if condition see if n1 equal to equal to n2 and n2 equal to equal to n3 now if this situation is true then it means what your all the three numbers are equal so now we are going to print it out all the numbers are equal fine now i hope you understood this thing also okay if you are not using these brackets after an if statement then it means what it means only one statement is contained inside your if block so right now we are not using any brackets so that is why only system.out.println is there in your if block. Now in the else portion what we need to do we need to just find out the greatest among source 3. Okay? So greatest number we need to find out. Now you see greatest number find out currently we are having two methods. What are those methods? Okay, We are having multiple methods but right now we are going to deal with only two methods. First one is your if condition, if else if condition. The next one is by using your java.max library function. Fine, max.max we can use it over there also. Or if you want, you can go for if else if portion. So to make this code easier one, let us take this math.max with us. So int max equal to math.max amongst n1 and n2 right now we are going to find out the maximum number because you know that math.max is a library is a function which is going to find out the maximum number amongst two okay we cannot give three numbers over here 
within a single throw okay so at a single time only two arguments it is going to take now again we need to find out max equal to math dot max now amongst this one this max and n3 we need to take okay now you see firstly this line okay this integer should not be written because max we have already defined now see n1 or n2 may say whatever number is bigger one is going to be stored in this max variable fine now this thing amongst this max and this n3 whatever is a bigger one is going to again to be stored in your max one okay so like this we are going to find out the maximum number now we need to print this thing on the computer screen so system out print and then greatest number equal to plus max okay now this is our code if you want you can go for if else if portion as well so now let us try to execute this one compiled our code see we are not having any syntax errors now let us try to run this one okay it is expecting three numbers so let us take 52 let's take 12 and let us take uh, 63 now you see greatest number it is telling you it is 63 now again if you want to run our code with a different um, different inputs let us suppose it is taking 10 afterwards 10 and then afterwards again 10 now see all the numbers are equal so like this if all the in if in every situation your output is correct then it means aapka programming code is correct hai. okay so this is about your uh, question number three i hope you understood this part as well now see this question number four write a program to accept a number and check whether the number is divisible by three as well as five now you know very well the code to find out how uh, whether a number is divisible by any other number or not it its remainder should be zero right so firstly we are going to check whether it is divisible by three as well as by five otherwise we have to decide if it is divisible by three not by five divisible by five not by three divisible neither by three nor by five and accordingly we have to display our programming code so let us define the code for this question number four as well this question number four no again the same thing in for java dot util dot star public class question number four we are dealing with now again we are having this public static void name string arguments and then see afterwards what we are having what we, we need to define the, obviously the object of this is scanner class so scanner sc equal to new scanner we are having system dot in okay now in this question we need to receive we need to receive a number and check whether that number is divisible by 5 and 3 and so on all the conditions we are going to check so see except a number only one number we need to take as an input so that is why asking for that one enter a number like this now we need to receive it as well so int num equal to sc dot next int now the first condition is just divisible by 3 as well as by 5 so the first condition if condition if num mod 3 equal to equal to 0 and this num mod 5 equal to equal to 0 if it is divisible by both of these values and system out print and then we have to give it divisible by 3 as well as 5 okay like this appropriate thing we have given okay now again the second condition as if see in the second condition it is going to ask for what it is asking is the number divisible by 3 not by 5 okay so the number should be divisible by 3 but it should not be divisible by 5 so means to say num mod 3 equal to equal to 0 and num 
mod 5 is not equal to 0. If this is a situation, then we need to print out system out print and in. Let us copy this thing out. Divisible by 3, but not with 5. Not by 5. Okay, so like this we have given the situation. Now for the third one, it is going to tell, uh, ask it about else if, if the number is not divisible by 3, is not equal to 0, and your number is divisible by 3, means mod 5 equal to equal to 0, then what should happen? It is divisible by 5, but not by 3 not by 3 okay otherwise the last situation when we have the else if portion likhte hai, so last way we are not going to apply for the condition we have only else likhte hai, so in else neither divisible by 5 nor by 3 divisible by 3 nor by 5 Okay, so like this accordingly we have given this part. Now, compile our code. See, we are not having any syntax error. Let us run this one as well. So, question number 4. Okay, enter a number. Now, you need to define a number. So, let us take a number that, uh, let us try to execute for this portion. If 3 is a number divisible, nahi ho, but wo 5 is a divisible. Ho jai. So, let us take this 25. Okay, now, it should give divisible by 5, not by 3. See, divisible by 5, not by 3. So, accordingly, you have to define the program for you. Fine. So, I hope these both questions are clear to you people out. Now, this question number 5, see what write a program to input here and check whether it is a leap year, century leap year, century year, but not a leap year. Now, when you were in the 8th class or I guess in the previous chapters also, we have discussed about this leap year and century leap year. So, if a year is divisible by 4 and if a year is divisible by 100 so accordingly we have to define ki aapka leap year hota hai ya century leap year hota hai now this question number 5 you tried by yourself in case you feel any difficulty then write down in the comment section below and i'll make it a video on this question as well okay so right now i'm going to skip this question number 5 but you have to do this question number 5 in your copy do not skip this question fine i'm skipping it out because you people have to do it by yourself now, for this video, let us uh, stop till this question number 5. From the next one, we are going to start from question number 6. I hope you understood all the quotes. So, in case of doubts, again, either write down in the comment section or just message me on the Teams app chat area. Fine? So, thank you so much for this one.